Hello everyone. This is Upendra from India and the project we have work on is on it's a qualitative project in a tribal village on southern part of India called Elagiri Hills. Uh, hello, I'm Thomas Matthew. Again, I'm from the same university. It's uh, Manakula Vinayagar Medical College. It's under Pondicherry University in India. And uh, we have worked on primarily the effects of community empowerment and uh, to eradicate anemia and malnutrition and uh, morbidity issues, especially with the uh, school children, which is in the tribal area. And we worked with uh, two schools and one hostel in the tribal area. And the technology we used is a qualitative research methodology. Hello, I am Sundar. I am from the same university and uh, involved with this project for last three years. And uh, it was a wonderful experience which I am going to share with you. This is Karthi again uh, from the same university, Sri Manakula Vinayagar Medical College and Hospital, Pondicherry University. Uh, we are going to share about the, our experiences uh, in uh, participatory action research. What happened is that I was in US as a practicing physiotherapist for about 16 years. I've decided to come to India for five years of social works. So we were trying to do some work in a tribal children area. So one day I accidentally saw this girl a little girl about two or three year old standing and shivering on the roadside. It took me behind her, I asked where she's leaving, she took me to a place where about 33 children were standing and shivering. So I started inquiring, I found that it was a government tribal hostel and it was very much neglected, uh, some reason or other. So it has started bothering me, I couldn't get sleep, so that was the starting point. I was disturbed. And it took me to the government officials to find out how can I get involved, make some difference. They initially was discouraging, but later on they gave me approval uh, to go and co-manage the program. So that time I started going daily to the hostel, trying to help with their wardens, clean the children up, get them new clothes, slippers, trying to get the roof fixed up. Along the way, I found that my professional skills as a physiotherapist did not meet their needs. What they need is primary health or primary medicine. So that was a life-changing experience for me. At age 47, I've enrolled with the medical college to do my medical program. So I'm a third year medical student now along with my other colleagues. We have changed the service model of project into a research mode because we felt that has more sustainability and it can be measured better on the effect of it. So that was a transition from a service model to a, a research mode. Then we did a pilot study there. We involved the faculty and also medical students was involved. During the faculty pilot study, we found that the PRA, participatory action research, which is a type of qualitative research, will be most feasible for that particular community or area. Second time, we went back with another team of medical students and faculty to understand what is the need assessment for it. So we measured the need assessment. After the need assessment was done, then we formed a school health committee. And this committee was empowered and trained how to handle it. Because we found that if it is sustainable, the community have to take the ownership on. Also, sidewise, we provided other needs they have, like safe drinking water, nutritional food, vegetable garden, safe environment for the children, and also a lot of awareness program for the parents and students. And we went back again to do the uh, end stage results and we found that there was a significant decrease in morbidity, there was a significant de uh, decrease in nutritional anemia, there was a significant difference in the hygiene and other issues. And this has translated into improved performance at school, more happy children. They're less, uh, they also had a lot of children having suicide tendency that has been eliminated. So it's an amazing journey and now pretty much we know that even we are not there, that school health committee, local ownership is there. They have seen the difference. It will sustain and continue. When we find, so in our lives, something we take it as granted. But in some people's life, for example, tribal children, they don't have the basic needs to fulfill. fulfill. So that's, that's how I get involved firstly. And uh, we talked with the community medicine department of our institution. And we made it into scientific way from that way, where we are, we are all, 
all of us get involved actively throughout the process. I was able to join the pilot study. So I got involved in the medical camps and later uh, it made me influence on me to visit the sites uh, in regular basis. So I used to travel in between uh, uh, the camps also. So it was very nice exposure to work with these children. So we hope that this project uh, made a tremendous change and improvement in the 286 children. So it makes me happy. I uh, joined in this uh, project <coughs> for uh, implementing the qualitative methods which I learned through a workshop. Uh, but uh, when after uh, seeing the children's situation, not only it was uh, like uh, implementing a research, but also <coughs> I came to know their sufferings and uh, I came to know about their um, daily life. Um, about their uh, hygiene practices so with this uh, in the future I like to continue more uh, projects I think the most amazing thing is this that this has not only changed the community it has changed the people we have changed especially I can tell about Ubendra he has changed now he's thinking about doing similar project in Sri Lanka with the war affected thing Sundar is thinking about similar project in his own village same with uh, Dr. Karthike in Thingy. And our plan is to, we, we've been immediately called by the ministry. Now we are submitting a proposal to the government that uh, similar projects can be implemented in other schools in the state. See, the basic thing is that we sometimes assume what the needs of others. That is not the real. Here, we told that community to tell us what is your deficits. I have done other projects where I thought they need slippers and I bought them slippers, next day I go back, the slippers were in the grounds. So the big difference is that here we ask them what is your problem, how I can join force with you and it was a collaborative effort with them. So when I learned in the classroom, sometimes I may be not understanding but at the same time when I go to the community and do things by ourselves, at that time we understand things more better. So and also like uh, to be involved in a community uh, like this, it uh, needs a commitment to spend some time. But uh, once if you start doing it, I think uh, this will be the best and uh, you will uh, feel like to spend more time on this. The one thing I will tell you, I touched my life is that one day a small three-year-old came and about three, four-year-old came and hugged me and told me, sir, I like you. I told what is there in like you? You have so many people to like. No, you made me feel that I'm wandered on this earth. Till then, a lot of people, I was feeling that they told me I was unwanted, but you and your team made me feel that I wandered on this earth. Anybody can make that feeling to these children, it's most welcome.